My wife and the coach. Sorry for the long post. My wife and I are 33, married 11 years. We live in a once rural area that is fast becoming a suburb to a medium-sized metro area. Our HS graduating class had a little over 200 kids, now approaching 500 grads. I grew up on a farm. When I was six my mother just never came home one day. So my dad raised me. I took on my farm duties. In other words I worked hard. Eventually my dad quit farming, he leased his fields to other farmers. He took a factory job. He invested his lease proceeds into buying up more land. Through the Great Recession he acquired many properties. On one of these properties there was a house he gave to me to fix up and start a family. It's in a trust with his other property but we pay all the bills. My wife grew up lower middle class. A great family that always treated me well. They moved to the area while we were in junior high. We dated all through HS and were married once I had a steady job. Before then I did everything to earn a dollar. Need to haul junk out of a barn, folks would call me. Need your house painted, I can do it. If you get what I mean. We have an 8 yo son. She is some. Now, I am a route driver for a large snack company. I am close to buying my route from the company. I have more than doubled the size by going into every mom and pop store, grocery and gas station and selling as much product as I can. I have a large area because the surrounding area is still rural. My plan is to finish buying the route, then I can buy another truck. The plan was to have the wife run the second truck. There is projected supercenter grocery merchandise to be built in the next year in my area. If I own the route, it will be mine. If not the company can split my route. So I need to finish buying the route. We have been married since a couple years out of HS. Our marriage hit some rocky spots, I think because I put in long hours. I try to be there but admittedly am not. We have had lots of fun and love our boy with every fiber of ourselves. He is the typical boy. He is now into sports. He played basketball in the winter, baseball this past spring and is now into flag football. So we hit a low spot relationship-wise in the spring. My wife and I talked about it and each made promises to do better. Late April through mid-June our S time life went off the charts. We could not get enough of each other. To be honest, I may have been getting too much because I was dog tired but still ran my route. My son was playing ball. I never missed a game but I did not hit all his practices. With most youth sports the dads take an active role in the coaching or helping out. I just could not give that commitment. My wife stepped up and helped out when needed. The baseball coach, Ted, is an ex of a very good friend from HS, Mary. She was the smartest kid in school. She went on to college that's where they met. They married and soon had a son who was also eight. Their marriage hit the skids. Mary moved back home three years ago to have help watching the boy, by her parents. Ted moved here two years ago to be close to their son and I think to win Mary back. The mid to end of June we sink back into our rut. We talk again in July, promise to recommit. We take a vacation. Still the relationship is bumpy. Mid-August comes around the bedroom heats up again. Then cools after just a couple weeks. September hits and we are in a dead bedroom. I beg my wife to talk but she says nothing is wrong. My son starts playing flag football. He loves it. They practice a couple days a week and play on Saturday. I drop by a practice and see my wife and Ted with a clipboard running the kids through drills. There are a couple dads helping too. I had no idea she was helping. So I mention it when we get home. My son is excited and shouts out she's not helping, she's a coach. It seems when signing the son up she volunteered to be an assistant coach. I think it's great. This seems to consume a ton of time. The wife is constantly texting, some calls but generally when I'm there it's texting. They go to Ted's place every day after school and he works his son and mine out. He is teaching them how to be better and it really shows as they are the two best players on the team. So their first game comes, I work in the morning and make it to the field for the game. The wife and Ted are side by side giving directions. Someone sets a chair down next to me. It's Mary. We watch the game. About half time she asks if the wife and I are doing okay. I tell her sure. I look over at her and she is staring at me. 
So I ask what? She said her son came home after being at Ted's, it had been raining so there was no workout. They spent the afternoon playing video games. Her son went to the kitchen to get more juice and saw Ted and the wife kissing. He ran back to the game and told Mary that night at home what he saw. I get up at 4am every day to drive 45 minutes to the warehouse to get my truck. So Monday morning I got up at 3.30am to check her phone. She had changed the password. After a few tries I figured out what it was as she uses like 4 or 5 different ones for everything. There I saw text after text. Some nudes. So I took screenshots of some. Usually I have one day that I spend in town. I sometimes would come home for lunch if I took one. Especially, when there was a lot of S time going on. I got home and she was not there. I called her but she did not pick up. I drove by Ted's place and her car was there. I finished my route. She told me she was at the store. She was sorry she missed me. I told her I was just trying to surprise her. Not a big deal. The next week, on the same day, I again let her know I was coming home for lunch. I was parked down the way from Ted's. How she did not see my big old truck is beyond me. She came running out of Ted's. Got in her car and raced home. I followed slowly, when I arrived she was making me a sandwich. We had a nice conversation. Saturday, after the game, I took my son home had him change and took him to my dad's. They were going to fish in the pond and if he wanted he could swim. I went home. Of course, the wife was not there. So I drove to Ted's. Her car was there. I called her. She was kind of annoyed, then I asked what she was doing at Ted's. It was just silence. Then talking over the game. I told her to put her clothes on and come home. She swore at me and hung up. When she finally did come home, I was sitting at the table. She again swore at me for C accusing her of something. I asked that she sit down. She refuses, getting more agitated by the minute. I told her a little more forcefully to shut up and sit down. Let me say my piece. I had a folder which she asked what was in it. I told her to sit down so I can show her. I started pulling out screenshots of her texts. She went ballistic that I would snoop in her phone. I then pulled out the more incriminating texts. She tried to explain it away. Then I pulled the nudes out. She shut up. I told her we were done. I would give her until the following Sunday to be out. I was going to an attorney, Monday. Take her clothes and personal stuff. We will figure everything out later. She just sobbed. She said how sorry she was. I just asked a question that I saw on an Reddit advice sub what did you think would happen when I found out. She had no answer. I have stayed at my dad's since the weekend. I brought my son back on Sunday so he could catch his bus to school on Monday. I had explained to him mom and dad would not be living together anymore but he would still live in his house. I got home tonight and all her stuff was gone. There was a note that said she would drop my son off after practice. We had agreed she would pick him up after school. She could stay until I got home or I would pick him up at her parents. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, made expose the coach a well. You don't want scumbags like that being a role model to kids. Redditor 2, Tell your lawyer your plan of buying your route before you do anything. Also tell Mary thank you if you haven't already. Your wife would have kept cheating without any remorse. Redditor 3, Shell try to get you back with SX. Don't fall for it. It's not like you all of sudden became hotter, started making more money. Don't forget to expose the affair.